Today we're going to talk about how much can a driver really make as a as a as a Uber or Lyft driver. And we're going to take into account expenses. So you're going to see what can you make and then subtract expenses and then what do you make? And we're going to look at our per hour uh, earnings. And stick around at the end of the video. I'm going to show you what a traveling driver could make if they flew into San Francisco for four weeks and then flew home. All right, so that's a pretty interesting idea there. <clears throat> My name is Jay Crater. I am with the Rideshare Guy. And today we're going to talk about what can a driver make uh, in June of 2018. <clears throat> So there have been a lot of articles written about how little Uber drivers make. I just saw one that said we make about $17 an hour. When I first started driving, I saw that, uh, articles that said it was less than, uh, less than what they call minimum wage. <clears throat> and I guess what I would recommend right off the bat is, you know, give it a try. If you're thinking about becoming a rideshare driver, just give it a try. Go out, you know, you're not going to lose money for sure <laughs> and you can see for yourself in your city with your bonuses with your skill set what you can accomplish but let's start off by looking at the numbers of what i've earned over the last six weeks so what i did is i listed my last six weeks earnings and hours totaled it up divided it by six and then came up with the hourly figure per okay. week <clears throat> so as you can see uh we're at about 45 dollars per hour but now we're going to go and we're going to subtract five of the major expenses, all the expenses that I can think of that uh, got to come off that amount to give us a net, a net earnings uh, before tax. So let's go to the first expense. Okay, expense number one, thing that eats up the most money weekly is gas, gasoline. Yeah. So um, I drive approximately 250 miles a day and I work six days. So that's 1,500 miles. I drive a Toyota Prius, which gets about 50 miles per gallon. So that means I'm putting about 30 gallons of gas in my car. As of today in San Francisco at my Arco station, I'm paying $3.59 per gallon. If you do the math, it comes out to about $107 per week that I'm spending on gas. So. We're going to make a note of that, and at the end of this, I'm going to show you a little spreadsheet that shows you all these expenses subtracted from the total. So number one was gas. Let's go to number two. Okay, number two is my automobile expense, right? There's two things we got to consider here. First is how much am I paying? So I am using the Uber Fare Leasing Program. It used to be called Uber Exchange Leasing. Then they switched recently, and now it's called Uber Fare Leasing. But at any rate... I'm leasing a car for $149 a week, and it gives me unlimited mileage, so I don't have to worry about the depreciation or the number of miles I'm putting on the car. When I got this car, it's a 2013 Prius. I had 30,000 miles on it. Now it's got 180,000 miles on it. I don't care about the depreciation, because when I'm done, I'm just gonna turn the car back in. <clears throat> so that's what I'm spending. Now, what I'm gonna subtract from that amount is $300 a month, which I would normally pay for a car, right? Because I want to look at just the incremental expense that I'm incurring. I've always had a car since the age of 16. $300 for a car with insurance and depreciation is pretty small. So I think I'm being very, very conservative here. So let's look at this little tiny spreadsheet here. And you can see I've taken the 149, subtracted what I would normally pay for a car. And that gives us our figure uh, for our car expense. Okay, the third expense is automobile insurance. Now, as you, as you might know, you need to get regular car insurance plus rideshare car insurance to be fully covered. I work with a company called Metro Mile. They cover all aspects of my car and I pay about $200 uh, per month for that. You know, cars break down. So my car actually has never broken down. But what I have had to pay for is uh, brakes and tires. Now through the leasing program, I get a minor service every 5,000 miles. So that's an oil change. Uh, every 25,000 miles, I get a um, cabin air filter change. They rotate the tires, fill them with air and all of that. But I have uh, once a year had to get new brakes, which is approximately $500. And I've had to get new tires, which is approximately $500. Now the fifth is just miscellaneous. So 
Um, I thought about should I include my cell phone, but I would have my cell phone regardless of whether I drove or not. Um, I have a Spotify account, but I'd, I'd have that whether I drove my car or not. Um, I do pay about $10 a week on parking meters, you know, when I park to get something to eat. Um, so I've subtracted $10. But other than that, all the other expenses, like a car wash, I do pay for a car wash. Uh, it's a monthly subscription of $35, and I can go as often as I want. But I would do that anyway, because I, I would want to have a clean car, regardless of whether I drove for Uber and Lyft. So I've added $10 uh, as an extra weekly expense under miscellaneous. So now let's take a look at the spreadsheet, and we can see where we uh, came out. So I took the weekly gross figure from the previous spreadsheet and then subtracted all of the five expenses that we just covered to get a net weekly revenue. I then divided that by the 51.5 average hours per week. And we see we've now got a per hour of $39.75. Okay, so we ended up around $40, $40 uh, per hour which is a lot better than the minimum wage or less than minimum wage or the $17 that I've seen. But it's all dependent on, you know, where are you working? I work in San Francisco. What kind of a bonus can you get? Because the bonus accounts for 20, 25%. And what's your skill set? You know, how good of a driver are you? How disciplined are you? Um, are you willing to really put in the hours to achieve it? Uh, because the harder you work, the better the bonuses get. So you really just got to go try for yourself. Um, no article can really tell you what your per hour is until you go out and do it and then you can calculate it uh, for yourself. Now, what I promised you at the beginning is, I was thinking, you know, a lot of people say, well, do you make so much money, but it's only because you work in San Francisco. And um, yes, and I didn't start in San Francisco. I moved here because I wanted to make some pretty good money. But I put together the spreadsheet where we could look and see well, what if somebody flew in from San Francisco, was here for four weeks, and then flew home? How much could they do for take home? So let's take a look at that spreadsheet right now. All right, so I set your earnings at 2,500 per week. So you're gonna be doing a lot of driving in four weeks. But then I subtracted for an Airbnb room, a uh, car insurance, your gas, parking, round trip airfare, I said $500, and 250 a week for food. You could get by on a lot less than that. So when you subtract those expenses, You've got a take home, I mean, coming back f with $5,000 in your pocket. So do some research. I bet you could do this. All right, all right. Thanks, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found that informative. Some of you may be thinking, huh, maybe I should fly to San Francisco for four weeks, come back with 5000 large in my pocket. But um, do your research. Do your research. And be, you have to be really committed um, to reach that figure. But... Uh, I want to thank you for watching. This is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. This is the Rideshare Guy YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, by all means, go ahead and subscribe. Get caught up on all the most recent information regarding Uber and Lyft and Postmates, you know, anything that has to do with drivers driving cars to do some kind of business in this gig economy. Harry and the team have got it covered. So you all go out and have a great day. Thanks very much. Be safe.